what China is doing or what some of its enterprises are doing is to provide critical components for Russia's defense industrial base. Uh, things like machine tools, microelectronics, and optics. Those are being used uh, to help Russia on what's uh, an extraordinary uh, crash course effort to make more munitions, tanks, armored vehicles, missiles. And um, the, the actions that Russia has taken um, are going at a pace unlike any we've seen in its modern history, including the Soviet Union during the Cold War. And this could not be happening without the support that China is uh, providing. 70% um, of the machine tools that uh, Russia is getting from abroad coming from China, 90% of the microelectronics. So we've been very clear that um, this is doing two things. It's helping Russia perpetuate its aggression against Ukraine, but it's also creating a growing threat to Europe because of Russia's aggression. Uh, and what I'm hearing from Europeans uh, is deep concern about this. So for China, if it wants to have better relations, uh, not only uh, with us, but with countries in Europe, it can't do that while at the same time helping to fuel the biggest threat to European security since the end of the Cold War. We've taken action um, already against Chinese uh, entities that are engaged in this. Uh, and what I made clear today is that if China won't act, we will. You say you will act. I just want to be clear on what you're prepared to do. Mm. Are you going to um, prepare another package of sanctions against China, or what, what will those actions involve? Well, I'm not going to get into the details except to say, look at what we've, look at what we've done uh, already. We've um, imposed uh, sanctions, um, export controls of one kind or another, on more than 100 Chinese entities because of their involvement in helping Russia with its defense industrial base. Uh, and we're fully prepared uh, to take further action. Wouldn't that be the nuclear option? Because obviously for today, from mm. Wang Yi, there did seem to be a warning to the United States mm. that this could go either way, that this relationship is at a crossroads. If mm. you impose more sanctions, surely the relationship could deteriorate. Well, look, uh, China has to make decisions. We have to make decisions. We will never shy away from um, defending very clearly, both in what we say and what we do, our interests, as well as our values. and. Uh, that's also something that it, uh, I've made clear in many conversations.